Tensions ran high outside the Northwest Provincial Legislature in Mahikeng. The EFF says it will open a case of assault after one of their ML MPLs at the Northwest Provincial Legislature was assaulted outside by security personnel during the Northwest State of the Province address. That assault came shortly after one member of the EFF was kicked out during the proceedings. Uh, Selwane Khakao brings us an update on this from the Northwest Provincial Legislature. Well, the state of the province address here in the northwest has been concluded, of course, by Premier Job Mokoro. We want to speak to some um, opposition parties to hear what their reactions are to his speech. You would remember that uh, earlier during um, the state of the province address, um, EFF members were kicked out of uh, the legislature and also um, members of the Democratic Alliance also uh, walked out. So now I am joined by M MPL of uh, uh, um, Freedom Front Plus, Mr. Devet Nell. Uh, sir, thank you very much for joining us. What is your reaction to the Premier's uh, speech this year? Well, it started interesting uh, with the EF being, being violently thrown out and the DA opting to watch the, the speech on television. That was quite interesting. I have to say, when Jobo Khoros started speaking, um, there was a lot of things he said, but there wasn't a lot of substance, um, especially when it comes to municipalities. He clearly stated that we've got dire big problems regarding municipalities, but there's no solutions. There's nothing that he spoke about the infrastructure, the aging infrastructure at municipalities, water and electricity, which is falling apart. There was nothing said about that. Also, the sewage plants, he didn't speak a lot about that, but instead they're talking about drilling boreholes to, to help or, or with the water shortage we've got in the province. But by doing that, that you must also look at the pollution factor, because our natural water resources are being polluted at the moment. You can't just drill boroughs. Economically wise, I'll be honest, to employ 200,000 uh, EPWP workers or extended public work uh, public works uh, workers over the next five years, that's not going to stimulate the economy of the Northwest. We are facing big challenges. ESCOM is one of them. Um, we need to stimulate the economy and our businesses to grow. But by employing 200,000 uh, EPWP workers over the next five years, it's only going to cost the taxpayer money, but it's not going to create environment for businesses to thrive. Okay. Do you think um, the Premier answered uh, some of uh, the things or, you know, that were raised in his speech last year? I mean, of course it cannot be that, you know, we would have a government of pep talk. People want promises that were made in the previous year to be followed on and for feedback to be given. Do you think he said anything with regards to what he had promised last year? I have to say, last year a lot of his speech was about corruption and fraud cases that's going to be opened. In his speech today, there wasn't a lot about it. He did briefly mention, I think, five cases, I'm not sure, but f a few cases that, that was uh, completed during last year, I think two or three cases that was completed by the Hawks. Um, he did speak briefly about, uh, I think, two or three other cases, but not a lot. Um, it's not what he spoke about. Last year he spoke about, um, I can say, fighting corruption, going big on it. That was his main focus in his speech. But today that was a very small part of his speech, and he didn't really elaborate. Mm. Okay, thank you very much there. Um, Devet Nell, he is uh, the MPL from the Freedom Plus.